So the GTA 6 trailer has arrived and I'm going to do a little video. Uh, all right. First picture, I guess, is uh, one of my favorites. Uh, you can see how detailed the sky has gotten um, compared to like those early GTA games where it was just blue. Now you could see like so much detail. Like it's actually a little dizzying. Cause four was pretty good, but it was still like just a skybox and five the clouds are kinda weird. Same with Red Dead 2, the clouds kinda came and went really quickly and it was kinda weird. Maybe that's because I was just on Xbox One, but, you know, these look pretty good. These clouds, they look like they, they are real and, like, have a real personality and, and they'll, like, they'll show up when, and form naturally. So... I was trying to do a video before, but I screwed up. So I kind of pointed out how I'm a little disappointed that, like, she's, she starts, maybe starts out in jail. Because we always play as characters with criminal backgrounds. Like, Claude was a bank robber, and Tommy was in the mob, and CJ was in a gang, and Nico did a bunch of Nico shit and then the guys in GTA 5 did robberies and, and it's like we're playing again as, as a criminal and who starts out with that background like I don't know what she did but I just I thought that would have been a good idea to like have have like not a character that starts out in like having done some something illegal maybe she got caught and it wasn't her fault I don't know but I don't know I just I wish uh, they had a fresh freshly inducted criminal for once so in the other video I tried to do, I pointed out how detailed everything is here. There's all the pictures behind the desk. Um, something I said was, I wonder if like you get calls from her throughout the game. It's like, oh, are you doing all right? Uh, I hope everything's good, and let me know if you need any like that kind of stuff and. Maybe you meet her throughout the, uh, throughout the game. Or you could choose not to. Maybe she's just... My first impression is that this is like the Dr. Friedlander. I think his name is of GTA 6. But... I mean, that G GTA 5 is so old that you could probably have the same character dynamics. And it won't really feel too weird so obviously she's not a therapist but yeah. Bad luck, I guess. so I don't need to point out what you've probably already seen but very detailed beach a very large downtown Miami um you can see compared to Vice City, like this is, um, I don't know the name of the islands. Uh, jeez, that's how little I've played Vice City, even though I've beaten it like three times. It feels like I haven't, I've, I've beaten Vice City like three times, but it feels like I've never really like, I don't know. But this kind of looks like that first island. And then way over there looks like the second one, but it's way bigger. I don't know what that 
Banner says on the plane. But it looks good. Um, someone said it does, doesn't look like GTA anymore, but I, I still think it looks like I still think it looks really like GTA, and I still think it looks like the HD universe. Which reminds me, please put Liberty City and Los, and San Andreas, Los Santos, whatever. It doesn't have to be part of the story, but just put it in the game <laughs> just to play in. Like, it's the game is so big, you can just shove those cities in a corner and just, I don't know, just put them in. I wonder, that's the thing too, I wonder if this will be an island, because I think Red Dead 2 has shed the, the little island thing they've been doing, and... I wonder, I wonder if we're going to have no more islands, you know? So, yeah, they did put the countryside in, and it looks good. Um, uh, it looks very Red Dead, but a lot better. But the Red Dead, the first Red Dead trailer looked really good, too, so... Um, you got the little pelicans right there flying around. Gotta look at those little pelicans go. So. Um. It's just big. Like, you can't see the city anywhere. I just, I wonder how, like, how I wonder how far, like, the beach is to this. Like, I wonder how many, like, minutes of drive time it would be. Because you could get to the bottom of Los Santos to, the, to Polito Bay in, like, ten minutes. I, want, I just wonder how far, how, like, long this would take. <sighs> Here's a beach. It's very crowded. You got a lot of people doing a lot of things. It looks really cool. Um, I've only been to like a crowded beach in the city once and I could tell you this is a little inaccurate because the people here are actually wearing clothes that um, that looks like the protagonist I think it is I wonder if this is her first interaction with the guy because that guy kind of looks like him and maybe she's happy about getting out of jail and he notices her and then they meet up and that'd be a that'd be a nice little introduction look at like the distance and the lighting back there it looks so real like, look at that building that's all lit up way in the back. And then that sky. The clouds are different. Like, there are, there are a lot of... Di I don't want to not come across like a cloud fanatic, but there are a lot of different types of clouds. And it looks very cloudy. <laughs> so, here, um, I guess... Is a strip club. It looks like there's a party because there's balloons. Make it rain Monday. I don't know who has a party on Monday, but looks good. Um, I'm just like looking around for special things, like something GTA Five was missing that. Even GTA 4 had was interiors. And I just hope they have like hundreds of fucking buildings you can go in. That would be amazing. This is probably my favorite shot in the trailer. You can see toll booths are back, which is something I wanted. I really wanted back. That annoyed people in GTA 4, but I liked it. It was a nice little detail. And it looks like it's like, 
I wonder how much the tolls are. In GTA 4, the tolls are 5 bucks. I wonder if how big this toll is going to be. If it's going to be like 20 or 30 bucks. That would be bullshit. <laughs> um, doesn't look like you could really go around. I guess you can. But... Oh, I hope the cops in this game aren't brutal. I hope they're comical, like GTA 4. Because I don't want to deal with, like, cops when I'm just, like, messing around. Like, it's... It wasn't a good thing in GTA 5. Because it, it takes so long to get rid of the cops in that game. So... You could see, I guess it's an Easter egg to the car parked outside Tommy's first safe house in the background. It's like in the middle. There's a lot of detail, a lot of people walking around. There's a lot of different body types I can see, too. Uh, in GTA 5... There seemed like there were only like two body types or maybe three, but it looks like a lot more in this. And I, I hope for GTA Online they do bring body type in because I don't really like playing as like a slightly out of shape man or woman. I, I guess it could be fun, but I kind of want to like have like like different options so you can see you could look inside some of those windows there I wonder if you could go in that hotel and explore it looks very much like that one is um, like the one that says boardwalk it looks like that one has a lot more going on uh, you never know, like the details getting that good, so party. A lot of land that you're never gonna use, but you can't not have that land, so what are you gonna do? But looking at the size of those boats, like that is huge. Like compared to the cars. Like, where does this go to? Like, I guess, I think it goes to what's called the Gator Keys, maybe. But, man, I'm just, like, thinking. Like, from downtown Vice City to the Gator Keys, based on the size of this, would probably take, like, ten minutes if you're speeding as fast as you can. So you got to imagine like all the way to the Gator Keys to the top of the map driving as fast as you can would probably be like maybe like 30 minutes, maybe 40. Like that's just my estimate. Okay, here's the girl that everybody's putting in their thumbnails. Um I I kind of think that would work as like clickbait way back when but I don't really know if that works the same way now but the thing I like about this shot is the hair because like women's hair in Rockstar games and video games in general has never looked that great it's always like in Rockstar games in particular they always the women always have like short hair or it's like tied back and the, and this like it looks really flowing and like it, like every strand is like an actual strand i think red dead looked red dead 2 looked really good but it was still kind of slightly off with the hair i think but uh, at least for, like, everybody except Arthur. Arthur's hair looked good. But this looks really good. And I can't... 
is she like a random NPC or like maybe a major character? I don't know, but very exciting. Uh, I think she could use a few miles on the treadmill, but she is just a video game character that YouTube seems to be obsessed with these days. So, you get these guys partying, and, and GTA has really become a party game. It seems like it's about, like, the backdrop of GTA is, like, fun. Even though the story might have dark moments. Like, I, I do think GTA 5, people say, like, it's not, it's, it's too fun and cartoonish, but GTA 5 did have some fucked up moments. And I think some genuine, like, kind of like guy thing moments with uh, Five that really, I think, once you get to a certain age, they do, and you live a certain, like, uh, amount, many years. Like, some of the stuff in GTA Five does, like, it's like, yeah, that's kind of... I kind of get that more now, but, um, yeah, GTA has become, I guess, more of a, I don't know if this has to do with online, but it's more of like, everyone's having a fun time, except for the main characters. <laughs> All right. I like this shot. You can. It really shows like how big the map is. I think this looks like the outskirts of the city. You could see the buildings in the background. And something I like about like a Vice City setting is that the weather is more diverse because you can have like those sunny days. But then you can have like those really rainy days and it'll be very natural. I mean, I'm not, I don't know Southern Florida weather, but that's another thing. I wonder what the state will be called in this game because they have referred to Florida in other GTA games. So I, I wonder if they're going to keep it as Florida or they're going to change the state. They probably already changed, like, Planet Leonida Man. Is Leonida the state? Probably not, but that's... Usually got to hit the strip club to see Jiggle like that for real. I don't know how natural that is as a sentence online. I don't think... If it's, it's a little too smart for an online comment. <laughs> well, look who's back. The only way. So here's the guy. He, he kind of looks like... He does kind of look a little generic, but I did think that of Arthur Morgan, and Arthur Morgan is amazing, so... Again, like you can see how different the clouds are, and it looks good. But like, what do you what do you think of this guy? Because to me, like, he seems like the most I don't know. Like, he doesn't seem like he doesn't seem like as cool as any other like the characters. Uh, he just kind of seems basic. But maybe that's, maybe, like, the thing I pointed out about, like, having a character not involved in crime. Like, maybe the guy isn't involved in crime and the girl brings her in. That could be interesting. We're gonna get through this. Is by sticking together. Being a team. So... 
So this shot I like, it looks like a safe house, but it might just be a motel that your duo could randomly rent. Something I kind of noticed while watching this is like, the guy looks generic, but like, like watching it more, I'm kind of getting like a, um, a Claude Catalina vibe from like, maybe they were inspired by like, uh, that story from the previous games. Could be interesting. I don't know. Cause like, it, like, like, what if, like, this guy is, like, he's just, like, he races cars like Claude, and then she brings her into robbing stores like Catalina, and then you get that, and, like, it's Rockstar being inspired by Rockstar. Think of that. Could be, could be good. Trust. Trust. So I don't really like his voice, um... His voice isn't like, um, it's not like a, I've never really heard a voice like that. It's very, it's very voice actory. Like it's not like a real guy voice. Sounds like he's a narrator in a Transformers movie, in a way. I don't know. But, yeah, kind of. it does kind of remind me of, like... Like, she is wearing, like, a similar... Like, I guess... I guess black tank top is very popular, but it, it does kind of have that... that feel. And... I like the logo. It's pretty much what everybody went with, but everybody th everybody knew it would be purple and everybody knew it would have palm trees and so it works. And of course, GTA 6 first two letters of vice. You got to go with that. Imagine if they had it in like Houston. <laughs> it wouldn't it would be a wasted opportunity. <laughs> Is to have like those letters and not have Vice City, but I, I I do hope they put the other maps in, even if it's just for online, and there's no purpose to the story. I just hope you could have them. Um, is there anything else I wanted to say? Not really. Um. I wonder how well written the characters will be. Like, oh, it's interesting, but it's gonna be like two, two and a half years, maybe. And it, you never know. But I think GTA Seven, like with the way things are going, it, it, they gotta do the entire country eventually. They just that's the only thing next. I think they wanted to do the entire country for GTA 6, but they just didn't have the technology yet. So they settled on Vice City. But I do think I do think the next game is going to be like the entire country. So I don't know what kind of story would fit in that. I guess it would be more for online but I don't know I'm excited I think it's going to be good I, I maybe don't think the story seems as strong as other stories um, seems uh, like like they're together and I'm like you're not going to really have like the mission structure like like three San Andreas and four if like these two are together throughout the game and <sighs> uh, I like 
there's something open world, more open world about how those missions were. I know a lot of those missions were generic, but it felt really as like a single guy, like more expansive. Even even like I know you're a single guy and and single player in Red Dead Two, but even that seemed like you're like weighted down to like the camps and stuff and I do hope they 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 make a game that goes back to like what 4 did I think perfectly was like you know you really felt free is is like that and I I wonder what they're going to do with this so We'll see. Maybe the game will never be released. I don't know. 